Hello, I'm Darren Knight, Executive Director for People in Change at Cheltenham Borough Council. I'm going to run through a short presentation on how Cheltenham Borough Council won a Certificate of Excellence for its use of using the LinkedIn platform to support its business objectives, to raise its profile, to support strategically important projects, promoting the Council as an employer of choice and improving our business to business engagement. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn is a social media platform for business to business and networking. Um, Cheltenham Borough Council has a profile, and if you don't follow us already, then please take the opportunity to do so. Um, back in 2018, uh, Cheltenham Borough Council's LinkedIn profile had never had any content posted. We had, though, a following of about 2,800 people, and at the time, uh, the opportunity of LinkedIn was not fully understood within the organisation and the benefits it could bring. And we had little experience of using the platform to its full potential. But at the time, we also recognised that um, we have a big agenda and a number of major initiatives that we're looking to progress. We are looking to make Chartland the cyber capital of the UK, building a cyber innovation centre. We've also committed £100 million to build, uh, increase the supply of housing within Chapman. And we've got other major projects also in the pipeline. We also recognised that we needed to uh, look to see how we can uh, make Chapman the employer of choice and promote uh, local government as a career. And we also wanted to improve the way we communicated with businesses in Chapman as well. So we had three areas that were of particular interest and we felt that actually LinkedIn could be a platform to help us achieve those objectives. We set ourselves uh, a number of objectives to support our approach to LinkedIn. The first one was to just grow our number of LinkedIn followers by at least 50 a month uh, using uh, organic means. So we weren't looking to pay for any content. We would look to create content that was engaging, that increased the number of likes, shares and followers to enhance the reputation of the council as an innovative, progressive organisation. We would use LinkedIn to provide opportunities to promote the council's strategic projects through improved profile raising, such as around uh, our plans to make Chartman the cyber capital of the UK. Uh, we wanted to help position the council to attract potential job, job applicants. Uh, we also wanted to use LinkedIn to add value to our business-to-business -business communication efforts. We identified three success measures, which was the number of new followers to our LinkedIn uh, profile per month, uh, how many conference speaking opportunities were arising to talk to local businesses and also to support our major projects, and also understanding what the stakeholder perception of the council was in terms of our sector profile, business profile, and how we were coming across to potential job applicants. So those are the three measures of success we would put behind our corporate LinkedIn efforts. We used a technique called uh, conversion rate optimization. This is how we looked to see which type of content uh, would give us the best uh, levels of engagement on the platform. So the first example on the slide is where we used uh, tagging. So when we post on LinkedIn from our corporate account, we will tag in the individual referenced or the organization that generates likes and shares. And we'll also may tag in other related individuals to help again boost the organic content. That's proved very popular if you do it in a targeted way. As a council, we do produce various corporate publications. And rather than link into a PDF, we use Flipbook software to improve the user experience of our online publications. We also use functionality within LinkedIn, uh, including the invite connections functionality. This allows you to invite people you're connected with to follow your company LinkedIn page. And that also proved very effective. We will use infographics to convey data or complex information in a simple way. We don't post, for example, without a picture, a video, or some content. We will also use more video to give a good contact mix, content mix between different types of posts. We will also share news that we're tagged in from other organisations we're working with. And we'll also feature when we, when we hit national radio or television. We'll make links to iPlayer, for example. 
One of our main objectives was to um, improve our business-to-business -business communications. So we use LinkedIn to advertise any commercial properties we've got available to let. We will use LinkedIn to advertise our licensing training courses that we run. And we also feature various case studies of Cheltenham businesses that we worked with to help them uh, with their businesses. And I'm really, really pleased to say we've had some really great feedback from Cheltenham businesses. And an example of feedback we've had is referenced in the quote on the slide. We encourage our employees to use LinkedIn because we think it's a really valuable place to learn, network, and uh, find different ways of working. And um, this slide just gives you some examples of our staff using LinkedIn to talk about their work and also engage with businesses uh, and other stakeholders we're working with. For us, really promoting Chapman Borough Council as an employer of choice is really, really important. And we use the platform to showcase what it's like to work for Cheltenham Borough Council. So for example, where we've achieved accreditations such as disability confident employer status or the talent tech, talent, tech talent, talent charter. We use the, the platform to uh, illustrate those accreditations. Where we've got award success, those things will be published. And also when we do various other activities where we engage our employees and that's an example of some community work some of our property team are doing on the right hand side of the slide. Um, obviously, as part of our approach to recruitment, um, you can see the example on the left hand side of the slide where you've got uh, what our job adverts used to look like. And uh, with some simple changes, these were our new LinkedIn job adverts look like. We also tag in the manager on the job adverts if they're on LinkedIn and again that helps promote those, those jobs to be shared within those professional networks. Um, on some jobs we may tag in what we call influencers. So this role is where we were looking for a head of planning and we tagged in the chief executive of the Royal Tain Planning Institute and Victoria then shared our job post with her professional network which helped raise the profile of the vacancy we were looking to fill. So this can prove effective providing you don't overdo it. Uh, for us, engaging with businesses in Chapman is really important and our use of LinkedIn has then created uh, requests for officers to go into different business groups and talk about some of the council's work. Uh, for example, we've been asked to talk to the Chamber of Commerce, uh, different business networking groups, and also this provides us with the opportunity then to uh, make businesses aware of the opportunities that may become available with, with projects and initiatives we have in the pipeline. The data, really, really important to measure, measure success. Um, as of August uh, 2020, we had the second highest number of LinkedIn followers on our company page uh, out of the district councils in the UK. Uh, I'm pleased to say we've grown our following by about 89% in two years. Um, our following on LinkedIn grows by about 121 followers a month. So that's really important because that shows the content that we're publishing, the way we engage with, with LinkedIn is actually of interest to people and that's evident by the increase in following that we've managed to achieve and also sustain. But we also think about how we can get more value from LinkedIn and so we've, we've arranged for our LinkedIn uh, we've arranged for a building control service to have LinkedIn training about how they can use the platform to get uh, potential leads for the building control service. So it'd be really interested to see how that work pans out over the next 12 months. I think it's important to mention that um, you know, resources in local government are under pressure, and, but we have, with a small communications team, really, really improved our capability over the last two years. We can easily create quite good eye-catching content. We can effectively create and edit short videos in-house. We're really proficient in, in aware in how to use tagging of individuals and organizations on LinkedIn to drive that organic engagement. We're proficient in using the page flipping software, which improves the user experience of our publications we publish. We're also really familiar now with the LinkedIn functionality and analytical tools. And importantly, going back to the point about conversion rate optimization, 
we're really, really clear about what types of posts and content will generate the best level of engagement on the platform. I think it's really important that whatever social media platform you use, whether that's Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, or Facebook, you're really, really clear on the purpose of the platform. So not just posting content for the sake of it, there's got to be real purpose and uh, really think about the audience you're trying to uh, engage with. Also, the use of LinkedIn has really helped refine our sector pro profile raising skill set, especially this has been really useful when we're looking to progress some of our major, major projects. Um, really important part of our journey is the, is the investing in training and development. Uh, we have brought in uh, an expert trainer, so Helen Reynolds uh, was brought in last year to work with our comms team to help refine, develop, improve their approach to how we can do more content creation and social media engagement. And that training has been highly effective. Uh, we've also recently brought in Luan Wise, a LinkedIn training expert, to work with their building control service. I think it's really important uh, that uh, we, we, to recognize that resources are under pressure, budgets are under pressure, and you don't have to spend a lot of money. I think there are lots of tools available uh, to help uh, communications teams create engaging content, and here's a few examples. So Canva is a, is a tool we use often to create imagery or graphics. We use Pit College, Collage to help us edit photographs. Powtoon is for like uh, animation. Filmagora Go in Viva Video are there to help you make videos. And Issue is what we use for the page flipping uh, software for our publications. I think everybody is really busy in local government. There's always a lot of pressure uh, and pressure on resources. But I think for us, the learning has been you don't have to necessarily put a lot of time and effort into things. It's more about doing things a little bit differently and also making best use of the tools that are available, especially those free tools that I mentioned on the previous slide. Thank you for listening to the presentation. Um, if you want to connect with Chapman Borough Council, uh, please do. And uh, thank you.